Hey, so I just finished adding new features to my AI created application by using Tray and I was able to create new features as well as to uh, there were some errors here and there and I was also able to debug and fix those errors. In this video, I have shown you how good Tray AI is. You can look out for yourself on whether this is good fit or not. But one thing that you need to remember is Tray AI also uses Cloud 3.5 Sonnet on the back end which is the same model used by Corsair. So it is really worth checking it out and it is still early. It was just released a few days back and it has a lot of time to develop, a lot of room to uh, improve. You can check out the entire video after this. There is a new competitor in the market for AI code editors uh, which is developed by the same creators who created TikTok and it is called Tray and it is an adaptive AI IDE that transforms how you work collaborating with you to run faster. So we'll be trying to use it and see how it compares to Corsair and it is still in its early version so I guess it will improve a lot in the future but let's try to use it and see how useful it will be to help you code and it uses the same cloud sonnet 3.5 model by uh, Anthropic so the AI will be same, the AI code writing will be same, but there will be other features like AI agents, cursor, composer, etc. So I already have Tray installed, you can install it from here. I, I guess it is only available for Mac OS for right now, but they will probably work on uh, cross-platform availability as well. So I'll just open the Tray app here. And here we have the interface. So this is the interface. And we have the chat as well as the builder. I guess builder is uh, similar to Corsair Composer or something like that. Any changes to the code files will automatically be saved. So I'll open a code base uh, that I'm working on. This is an application that I have built myself. So I'll just open this code base and here we have all the code files. So I want to add a new feature to this application and let's see if Trey is able to do it or not. Before that, I will launch the application and show you what the application is about so that you have a better idea. This is a macOS application uh, built using Swift and SwiftUI. So I'll launch this in Xcode, drag it up here and I'll start the build. Right now it is being built here. You can see, uh, let's just wait for a few more seconds to uh, let it finish. Here the build is succeed. Uh, now let's launch the application. So this is the application that I have built using AI and this application lets you type using your voice. You just need to press a keyboard shortcut and uh, it will listen to you and paste at the current cursor position. And since this is in the development, I cannot give accessibility permission to this. So this accessibility permission is required to uh, paste at the current cursor position. Now I want to add a new feature to this application that is the ability to select, use the selected text for example, for this code snippet that we have saved here, we can use explain prompt, which will explain what this code is about and provide that information right in this view. And the user will be able to either copy it or dismiss that view. So this is what I want to build. So I'll just uh, tell it to the Tray AI to build it. The Corsa application had that AI agent mode, which would automatically create new files, index your entire code base and respond based on that code base. So I don't know if Trey is able to do that. Okay, we have the option to add code over here. Okay, but I think it should be able to index the entire code base, but it is not able to do. So I'll just tell it to look into the entire code base and see if it does that or not. For this feature, I'll create a new view on our, uh, what do you say, this sidebar. I will add a new column in this, a new uh, navigation uh, structure uh, in this sidebar, uh, which will have the uh, writing mode or something like that, okay? In this application, I want you to add a new item in the sidebar called as writing mode. And in this writing mode, there should be an option to configure different prompts. Uh, currently, I want you to write prompts for rewriting, uh, prompts for uh, summarizing the text, as well as the prompt for writing an email. Uh, also, there should be an option to configure other, also there should be an option to add custom prompts uh, also, there should be an option where the user will be able to add his own custom prompt, where he will be able to name the prompt as well as the write the entire prompt. Do you understand what I'm trying to say?
So I guess the main problem right now uh, I have is whether it will be able to index the entire code base or not. If it is not able to uh, uh, index the entire code base, uh, this prompt uh, will do nothing. Okay, it is actually reading the code base like, okay, it is reading the content view. Okay, one feature that I'm missing right now from Cursor is the ability to navigate to the file when I click on this file. If I click on this file, it will navigate to that file. Right now it is into the content view file itself, but previously it was not going to that file. Okay, now it is adding a writing mode in the navigation. I think uh, this is navigation with the icon. Now it is creating a new file called as writing mode view that Swift. In this video, I'll be skipping the middle part where the AI is thinking and writing. One thing that I noticed with Tray is that it is a lot slower than uh, Cursor. Cursor is very fast if you compare this to the uh, current speed of Tray. Hopefully that will increase in the future, but at least that is what I find. Okay, there are some changes we have made here. We have view builder, we have writing mode view. And there are these different prompts. Let's see the prompts here. Okay, it write the following text in a professional tone. And we have the concise summary. Okay. So I'll click on accept all and I'll try to rerun the project to see if we have properly implemented this or not. Okay, now there is one error that has occurred. It is using navigation bar title bar mode, which is unavailable on Mac OS. So this is a mistake that even Cursor was doing a lot of times. Hey, this is not an iOS application, but you are using iOS specific course. You should be more careful about this. Please fix this error. Paste it here. And now the Tray AI is still thinking and it will try to fix the Mac OS compatibility issue. I'll accept the changes, go to Xcode again, and the errors are gone for now. Okay. Now let's see the application. I'll put it here and you can see here we have the writing mode. Template details, professional write, write the following text in a professional tone while maintaining its core feature. Uh, we have to agree that the um, like view is not that good compared to the other view in our application, but it is still okay. So we'll, we can work on that later on. Okay, uh, okay, uh, these are the custom ones which you can add from here. Okay, so I'll write ELI5. I want you to explain this idea like I'm five, like use simple terms, use uh, simple vocabulary, and try to make it as simple as, and try to make it as simple as possible uh, so that anybody can understand, and also use metaphors and analogy so that it's better to uh, comprehend that idea. Okay. I'll add it here and now we have the custom ELI5 uh, template over here. So this is the visual part that we added. Now there is one important thing that we need to do that is integrated with the AI models. Uh, currently we have the AI models over here. If you look into it, you can see here we have used Grok API key which is free, but you can also have OpenAI API keys or DeepSeek API keys which are the cheapest ones currently. So what I want to do next is the ability to trigger the keyboard shortcut and use the selected text as a context and use the prompt and feed the data to the AI to get a better response. So I don't know how it should be implemented. So I'll just now give uh, the idea to AI and let the AI handle it. Hey, so what I want to do next is use the selected text as a context and uh, we can trigger this uh, different prompts that are available by using a keyboard shortcut and it will show different uh, prompts in a nice, I guess, uh, NS panel would be good for that. And when you use any of those uh, prompts, it will process through the AI and give the result into that uh, same panel by expanding that uh, panel or creating a new panel uh, uh, somewhere on the screen. Uh, do you think this is a good idea or do you think there is uh, something be something better than this we can do? Please respond to me without writing any code. We'll work on the code implementation in the next step. Okay, let's see what we get as a response now. It is solid. Uh, the approach of using keyboard shortcut to trigger NS panel with available prompts is user friendly. Follows macOS design patterns. 
one potential enhancement could be adding a floating vowel interface near the selected text as alternative method. Okay, I don't know much. I'm a noob, so I want you to suggest me properly. Like when we use the floating vowel interface, I think it will have to always monitor or do something like that. Is it that or how, how will it be handled? I want it to be less uh, memory efficient. Like I want it to consume less memory. So what should we do? What should we go with? Okay, this is great. So I want you to implement this properly. But before you implement, tell me what you, you what you are going to do and make sure this is a macOS application. Do not use iOS specific course. This is very important. Okay, uh, I want you to implement this properly without breaking anything else in the code. Uh, you can look for uh, the uh, enhancement related code into the Grok enhancement uh, section and everything will be okay. I think if Dre AI is able to pull this off, I think it would be really great to use this. There are certain features missing from Corsair, but I really like it till now. It has a great UI. It has a, a free integration with Cloud's different types on it currently, but this won't be free forever, I guess, because this is just early. So they want more users to join in and improve this Dre AI. So we have here, it is reading broke enhancement service. It is uh, reading the writing mode view. And now it is creating a writing panel, which is a floating UI. And it is creating an NS panel. Now it is updating our writing mode view to add a button for showing writing model panel and integrate it with Grok enhancement service. Okay. I don't know any of these things that it is telling, okay? But you have to learn what it is doing. You have to learn what, how everything is implemented on your application if you want to make it big. Like, uh, this is tons of code. If you look into all of these cores, this is tons of code. And if you don't know what each code is doing or how it is doing, uh, you won't be able to develop more features, add extra features. That will be very hard. Like you will be able to do it, but it will be very hard to understand what is happening in the code base. And if you cannot understand what is happening, then developing more features will be troublesome. Even I do not know how to write code. All of these codes are written by AI. And uh, I have been able to build this application and uh, people are loving this application. So you definitely can build apps with AI, but you have to be aware about what your app is doing and what uh, are the different codes, what a different code will do in your application. So uh, it has successfully implemented the writing mode feature, created a writing mode panel with macOS native uh, writing mode panel manager to handle text selection, integrated with broken enhancement service, implemented text capture with NS pasteboard. Okay, I'll just ask it to give me a review of what it has done. Hey, so can you give me a review of what you have done and, and why you have done what you have done? Like uh, write in one line, like five to six words for each thing that you have done. I always like to ask these questions to AI because it helps me to cement uh, what AI is doing. Like it helps me to understand what AI is doing and it becomes very easy to uh, move forward with the code. So you can see uh, it has created writing mode for prompt templates, prompt template model, uh, writing mode panel for floating window, uh, existing uh, Grok enhancement service has been integrated. Keyboard shortcuts are a uh, shortcut support for quick access. Uh, implemented text selection. Okay, but what keyboard shortcut is used? Now uh, we'll look into this this part later on. But let's try to build it. I hope it does not generate any error. These are the errors. I'll just copy this. Go to tray and paste them here so i've just asked it to take a look into these errors and fix it i don't know what these errors are but i hope the ai will be able to fix it this involves okay it has fixed the error try result await enhancement service keeping one the text parameter the enhancement mode and prompt handling are now managed internally by croak enhancement service Let's try to run it again. Okay, this is great. What is this? I just asked it what keyboard shortcut do we need to use? Hey, can you tell me what keyboard shortcut do we need to use and how can uh, how can we configure the keyboard shortcut? If we cannot configure the keyboard shortcut, what is the current keyboard shortcut that we need to use in order to uh, toggle this? Okay, this is the problem. The uh, The keyboard shortcut was not implemented. 
uh, if it is not implemented i want you to implement a keyboard shortcut to trigger the writing mode panel uh, when the text is selected it, it is looking into the relevant files right now one thing that i feared most at the beginning is that whether it will be able to index the entire code base or not but it is doing a pretty good job at this uh, it is able to read all of the relevant files at least uh, in this code base but this code base is also relatively big it has tons of files like 50 to 60 code files with hundreds and thousands of lines of code in each of those files so we have added the or writing more shortcut and where can we configure it successfully implemented shortcut functionality okay i think we can add a configuration for this in the writing mode uh, view itself what do you think okay this is the final part and it will determine whether tray will be successful in passing the test or not and here we have the code to add a keyword shortcut for writing mode I'll just accept the changes. I'll go to Xcode again and uh, run the build. Okay, it cannot find keyboard shortcut. I guess it is because we have not imported here. We'll need to add import function, import statement over here, import keyboard shortcuts by Sindri Soros. I'll just run this now, build this program and see if it works. And it is working right now build is succeed so we, have, we have the app open here uh, we'll need to add a keyboard shortcut okay here we'll need to add a keyboard shortcut i just write option w okay option modifiers key can't be used i'll use uh, i'll use command w okay sorry control w okay and uh, this view is not updated over here but we'll just let it be and use the shortcut control w okay control w control w nothing is happening i'll just select this use control w nothing is happening so i just need to tell it to ai hey uh, when i press the keyboard shortcut i have assigned it to control w in mac os uh, nothing is happening uh, can you make sure that it is properly connected to the uh, writing mode panel or whatever it is that is uh, that it requires to uh, be connected to it is reviewing some of the code implementation and let's see okay we have found the error here after going through all of these files one file two three four five and six files and writing uh, writing mode panel manager was not being configured with the enhancement service okay and it has made some changes by adding three code files writing mode manager shared configured with enhancement surface i hope this works properly now let's try to build it okay now we have the writing mode and it is working properly if you can see here in the debug area but i guess it still needs some kind of refinement but uh, i'm pretty satisfied with what it has done okay i'll just select this control w and i'll try to okay what it is writing okay it is uh, giving me the selected text uh, this was the previous result i'll just write a eli5 for this okay there is one problem right now that is uh, it is not properly taking in account for this selected text and this is a problem with the grog enhancement service but i will try to uh, configure it myself later on for, uh, for this video i want to keep it short it's already been very long but you can see here that uh, tray ai is pretty good at coding uh, since it uses cloud 3.5 sonnet uh, it is pretty impressive to see how it uh, gets all of the job done it has fixed a lot of errors for us and it has also implemented new features properly without any errors so i think uh, tray is a really good application and in future it will uh, develop even more because this is just the beginning of tray and after all it is backed by ByteDance, uh, one of the largest companies in china ByteDance created tiktok and there are other tools as well uh, that were created by by dance by dance and currently it is even free it is offering everything for free the cloud 3.5 sonnet model for free so if you are new and if you have not bought the course or subscription then you can definitely use this this is a really good tool to use in the recent times so this is all for this video i hope you found it useful and
uh, you got some ideas and insights about the tree AI to build whatever you want to build using AI. I hope to see you again. Have a great day.